Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am almost finished packing the van and I promised that I'd share this very interesting piece that you've been asking me about for a while. What goes in the roof box? Now the roof box is a vital part of my adventures because it allows me to pack some of the things that I need but that I don't need every single day into the van. Now before this wouldn't have been a possibility unless I wanted to feel like I was all claustrophobic in my space but now I'm able to do some amazing things and let me show you how. Okay first up I wanted to talk about something new that I have that's going in here. This is just a small rug. This is brand new. I'm going to leave it in its packaging. Originally it retailed for about $20, but we purchased it at a place called Dirt Cheap and got a super good deal. So this is going to be going in the van. Now I'm very excited about this because I previously had a very large rug that went up top, but it took up a little bit too much space. So this is much more compact. Um, it's just nice to have this outside of your van so that you don't end up tracking in lots of dirt. And so uh, that's a good strategy, especially if you're going to an area that has like a lot of sand. Also going into the roof box, I have my solar panels. On this trip, I'm taking the 200 watt Rock Pal solar panel and also the all power solar panel. Now with the power stations that I'm taking, these two will be perfect. I have an adapter that'll charge two of the power stations with this one and a special adapter that'll charge one of the power stations with this one. So all together, this will be a great pairing of about 300 watts of solar for this trip. Now I opted for these two solar panels because the solar panels, I always kind of rotate through. The 200 watt is super nice because it ends up working really well for my larger power stations, getting them where they need to be a little faster. And the other one I've never shown here on the channel. So I thought what better time to travel with it than now to kind of show you guys what it's about. I've used it, I've tested it, I really like it, but I want to share with you how it can work on a variety of different stations and something kind of interesting about it. So you'll be seeing that coming up. Packing cubes are something that I've always utilized in my van and for my roof box, these are perfect. I can put items that I don't wear every day in there. For example, I have some of my nicer clothes in this one right here and then it can just store down and because these are compression bags they have two individual zips the first to make it where I can expand it out and the second one to really suck it in so it takes up less room so I have a series of these as you can see now inside these I actually have more than just clothes though I have clothes in one of these but I have my electric blanket in one and then I have my big puffer jacket and also some gloves and a beanie in one of them because obviously right now I'm not going to need them but in some of those cooler temperatures that I may be encountering, I might. So it's better to have it up on the roof than not. Now, of course, if you've been with my channel very long, you've already seen that I use compression bags in a variety of different ways, but I have found that on soft surfaces, it keeps them together in a much smaller space, which is perfect for the roof box. And um, I really like that it kind of just contains them. I either use this or a dry bag that I can really push the items down. And uh, the dry bag is just a little bit more bulky. So we're going with the pack packing cubes for the bin. But if you do look into a roof box of any kind, either one of them work really well and they keep your clothes nice and compact and put away. Additionally, in another packing cube, I'm going to take all of my extra shower cloths and also shower caps. This is just a good way for me to have as many as I need with me, but not necessarily all of them be directly in the van. Now the extra showering items, super important. Sometimes you go places where they do not have traditional showers and you need to be able to get clean. But having that in your space all the time is not necessary. Putting it up on the roof, it's safe. It's a good place for it. So that's why it's going up there. Of course, I need a table. So I'm going to be taking this table. And I really, really liked this table whenever I tried it out over the winter. And so this definitely makes the cut again. This is just a table that you can take out, pop up, and then actually roll out the tabletop. And it's a nice size. Now I've traveled with many tables throughout my time. There's always a table in my roof box, whether it's this one or a smaller one or a larger one. And so a table is a must. It is a staple for my campsite. I always have to have a table up top. Now, in addition to this, I have a few other items that are for vehicle maintenance and uh, they're things that I've been carrying with me a little bit more as well. So uh, it's time to go get those and load them up. Now, these items right here also will be going up on the roof and you can see these are jumper cables over to the side. 
I also have my tool bag and sometimes this will fit in there. So I'm going to see if this will fit inside and if not, I'll take it separate. But inside my tool bag, I have some just basic emergency items that I only use if I truly need them. And I try not to take away from this supply. And then it does look like, yes, that will fit back in there. So that's all together now in there. This is actually my battery backup that if for some reason my battery dies, I can jump myself off without having to have somebody come along for the jumper cables. Now, in addition, I will have two bags that go up on the roof. This one is packed specifically for Mountain House. This normally would not be in my van. However, it's nice because this is a dry bag, kind of like I was talking about before, so everything will stay safe. And this also will double as another bag if I need it for something larger whenever I'm traveling. So this will be up there. This is my shower bag, which my shower bag contains my towel, my shower flip-flops, my shampoo, conditioner, soap, razor, stuff like that. So all of that will be in here. Now you might be thinking to yourself, but won't you need that? I will, but until I need it, it'll be up on the roof and that way it'll be in a safe space. Now, if I do for some reason decide that I want to take a little bit of a sponge bath so to speak with my little shower cloths i can always pop up there grab my towel and then use that to towel off um so it's not that big of a deal to not have it in the physical van because it's still on the roof so it's super easy to access just pop my ladder out and up i go so um that sits there until shower time it just saves a lot of space and with the new layout that I have, it's important to find those places where I can save space. Okay, obviously I'm gonna need this guy so that I can ride my scooter. So it's going, you guessed it, in the roof box because this is a weird thing to place in your van. And guys, no, I haven't forgotten a chair. I have a new chair that I wanna actually share with you guys in this video because I haven't taken it out of the box yet and it's going straight up onto the roof because I'm so excited. After my last trip, I tore my previous chair and uh, it was kind of a long time coming. I'd had the thing for a while, so I have instead replaced it with something very different that I am very excited about. But all roof boxes should always have a chair of some kind. Now we talked about chairs. This is one chair that I'll be taking with me. That's right, I said one chair. Having a roof box allows me to test out different things. And because my chair had kind of gone kaput, I wanted to have something that I could pop up just in a really quick way. And this thing is awesome. If you didn't see this whenever I did my Timu unboxing, I got this from Timu and it's exactly like the ones that we saw in quartzite and it was actually cheaper though so what you do is you just kind of pop it up pop it into place and then here you go it's ready for seating and it's actually quite strong like I can really put my whole weight of my curvy self onto this thing no problem but then I can just pop it back down and it'll be out of the way and last but not least let's open up that chair and see what it looks like okay we're inside the first box this is by dear for me and this is something I've wanted for a while. And just like that, we have our second chair. Have you ever seen something that somebody else has at a camp and gone, ooh, I would like that. I would very much like that. That's how this was for me. And uh, I'll do a whole video about it later on, but just know it's a chair and it's going on the roof. Usually this is how I get ready to pack everything. I just set it up on the roof so it's easier to access. So before I pull out the ladder, let's, let's go over this again. I have safety equipment. I have my basic setup for my campsite, including a rug, a chair, and a table. I also have extra clothes and also warm items because it's still pretty hot. And if I were traveling during the colder season, I would have even more warm items just because I wanna make sure I'm bundling up and well let's face it big things take up more room so up on the roof they would go but this gives me a way to rotate the items inside of my van so that I can be seasonal if I'm on the road for an extended amount of time like I was over the winter where it started to turn into like spring and then ultimately summer I was able to go from sweaters to shorts just by doing this rotation from my roof box down into my van, which I think is so important. Now, for those who have asked previously, my ladder actually came from Amazon and I do have a link for it in the description of the video, as I do with anything else that can be found in this video online. There's never any pressure on my channel to buy anything, but if you are interested, I try to make it easier for you and put it in the list. So that way you can find it at least. Oh, 
Also, it gets pretty dirty in here. You might be surprised how much junk gets into your roof box just by it wiggling and moving and going down the road and you taking things in and out. I always start off with the solar panels and I place them as close to the back as I can for extra support. Okay, then it's time to load in the longest item that I have, which should fit kind of toward the back over there. Table and chairs are next, and then I'll put something under here to support it. Okay, the tools all went in. I made sure that this was supported before I put this in. Again, this goes directly over the post for the most support. Okay, and then I just filled in with the other things that need to go in here. And I made sure that nothing is too heavy. That's another thing, is just making sure that your weight distribution is good, but also that you're not overweighing your box. And uh, yeah, now we just close it down. And as you can see, everything fits back into place just like it's supposed to. Now it's time to lock it up and I'm gonna remove these stickers also because, well, they're already coming off and I don't wanna leave trash somewhere. Okay, and just like that, the trash is thrown away. And as you can see, the roof box can be a vital part of your travels and be able to facilitate you having more quality of life in a small space. Now, I traveled before without it. And let me tell you, I had some great adventures, but with that said, it makes it a little bit better whenever you have more areas to store things, especially if you have a no-build. A no-build does not need to look cluttered or make you feel like you're absolutely claustrophobic. You should be able to feel comfortable in your space. And there are certain things that you just have to have with you, and sometimes that can get overwhelming inside the van. However, when you get to camp and you pull them all out and make your quality of life amazing, then you feel good. But on the days where you can't do that, should you have to suffer? No, you shouldn't. For me, the added space that it gives me is vital because not only does it help me to be able to put away the things that I don't need every single day, but that I do need in some places, but it also allows me to store more safety equipment and things like that. But then when I do have these specialty trips like I'm about to take, I can pack a bag, sit it up top and not have to worry about it being in the space. And that's really nice. I think ultimately we can all agree that van life is supposed to be about experiences and fun and making our lives and our quality of life on the road better. And so whenever I chose to get my roof box, it was a tough sale for a long time for me because I had something very specific in mind. But whenever I finally found this one and I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot. I have not looked back since. This thing has been so, so valuable to me. And I can honestly say that I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I hope today's video was helpful to you in seeing what all you can put in a roof box, but also to display that this guy right here, just a regular Cabela's roof box, can in fact work. And I personally think that a roof box is a great idea. So if you're interested in one, again, I hope this was helpful. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. Being organized, having space, makes it a much better time. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Till next time guys, bye!